what is your opinion as to how AI will affect resilience in the future? And this is from Mark in New York. Hi, Mark. The, the absolute solid gold standard of um, resilience is human connection. And AI isn't going to promote human connection for any of us. And the fact that more and more services are going to be picked up by AI because of cost savings. So, mm-hmm. you know, you used to be able to ring helplines and get a human being, and now you're going to get an AI pretending to be a human being is yet another step of separation. I don't think it's going to help us at all. I really don't. It's worrying. It, it, it's so interesting that you, you chose a, an example of one of my more frustrating things is the concept of help that when we're asking for help it is something that you want a human being for and i find myself you know whatever it may be but these lines where you call in and you're getting a recording and um and it's you know well what would you like this and i just i pressed zero or whatever it was saying and i and i go they go please say what you want i go human being human being yeah, yeah. Re- representative. What word do you want that gets me a human being? But it's so, terrifying yeah. to think that AI has a role already in answering or at least triaging people when they make contact about their mental well-being. Right. And they're and, desperate for human connection. And, and you bring up a great point is, is it's taking us in the wrong direction. Completely. You know, we're, we're getting less of this. If we have studies that are showing that... Um, you know, that, that this next generation or whatever is going to be even even more removed from human connection. And by the way, we're also going to put this in to make it worse. And also you see young people, it's across all the generations now, on the subway, on the underground in London. You know, they've got their headphones on. They're not partaking in anything around them in their environment. They've got headphones on or the noise cancelling headphones, even if they're not listening to music. And then they're looking at their phones. So no one is part of reality anymore, frequently not part of reality. And then add in all the other AI stuff. It's not going to be good for our mental well-being. If you like this clip and you want to watch another, click here. If you want to watch the whole episode, click here.